hi friends today i am going to show you how we can configure the sql database through install seed installer so basically let's say you have a scenario like you want to install the sql database on your client machine or client server so for that cause you can prepare your install sheet add a feature and without adding any file in the feature you will be just going to this sql script and here you can manage your SQL scripts and database connections, right? So, and also for that cause, if you are thinking like you need to take some inputs from the user, like what are the database and everything, what are the server name, it is So that thing is also configurable. So I am, I am saying that you can install the SQL database as well with the install seed install, right? So uh, for doing this, uh, there are options with SQL scripts. One is like you can create an SQL connection and add your all already generated SQL script which will run on the selected database while installation or you can import the database completely. So I will be showing first option here. So that's why the demo title is how to add SQL scripts through install seed installer managing database through install seed installer right? so let's begin so first of all I will be adding a connection SQL connection test CNN here we have a catalog name so and catalog server name optional window authentication server authentication whatever we and uh, requirements which kind of skill you are asking for and uh, what is that we can add okay we can add version here also here for which version you are adding and some kind of advanced thing like command timeout for the commands and everything like this right now this is the database skill thing connection is everything now in the connection i can add a script insert a script file or if I have already few files which are SQL files, I can insert them by browsing. I can import script files. I can uh, generate new script files. So this is my script one. Now if I go to this script, you can see that in general, it is associated with this WPF application feature which is already here right now the, when this feature is selected only then this will get installed and SQL script will be available in this path in the package and schema everything whatever you want to configure the script so basically this is the script we are going to be writing the script right how I can get the script to paste here so I will just go to my database my database is EL code loser I will be just go to the task, generate a script, next, I think this will be good, oh wait, I will be just going to this, selecting all things, next, I will be saving the file here, I will be just setting the schema next next this from the sql right so why sql i can get one script for all objects in the documents i have this script where is that this is script i am opening this script in my notepad plus plus it is here i will be just removing this use my database right and checking everything whether everything is fine or not it seems like everything is fine i have added tables processes and schemas right i'm copying selecting all and copying and just coming with my install seed installer and pasting so my install sheet is for uh, have my script before actual pasting I would like to test whether it is it will work or not otherwise it will fail 
So what I will do, I will just create a sample database which will be naming T1 and I will be saving it on, and on this database I will be running my script just to take care of the installed uh, configurations right if I see there is no any table there is no any processor which is custom one right oh sorry no processor right so I will be selecting this database new script paste in the same script here and just coming to the top I can run it run successful and just go to this I will be refreshing it then refresh done then tables I can see tables right two needles added now come to this programming base store procedure I will see three new props has been added right so ultimately saying this script is working fine now I can use the script in my install sheet so I have added this script now come to this runtime uh, run script during install right I will be doing this run script during uninstall if you want to run any script which file in uninstall your product you can do this run script during uh, rollback so let me explain you one thing if you add more than one script for each script you will be selecting the script and for each script there are five configurations so this configuration is specific to this particular SQL file or this script right now run script so you can add add uh, table removal or table deletion or props deletion script uh, as a different one and configure the, this checkbox there right run script during rollback run script during login uh, on error go to next script on error go to next error, go to the, or the installation so you can choose your options specify a conditional statement if you want to run this script based on some condition you can write the conditions here right so if you select it you will be having a pop-up to write the condition like uh, whether that machine has a or something else then only or whether the machine has SQL frame bar installed SQL uh, server installed only then run this so whatever condition you want to specify you can specify these things here for each script separately database info you can import the database now come to this text replacement let's say in your script you have some uh, text right text like you have a text like ap you want to replace ap with the text coming from the user so you can do this from here so you can add like what to find and by which thing you will be replacing you can use a property name inside the brackets so there and you can use a property to take user input and by that input you will be able to replace the value of any particular find out field right so this way you can manage uh, or customize your scripts uh, with the users inputs right so this is the way to configure the SQL now what I'm gonna do is that I am just gonna save this and going to build it and I you can, you can see that I have a not touched any kind of dialogue as of now right I will be just running the installer you know uh, when you are uh, providing this kind of installation to the client you are expecting that you will be providing a dialog by which you will be asking the user to fill up the server IP and uh, database name on which this script will run so I haven't created any dialog as of now I will be just running this and let's see what happens as of now we have this my server is SQL server which is local so you know local server can be referred by a simple dot and uh, let me show you one thing like see these are the databases available on my system so I will be adding one more database which is P1 right so why I will be adding through this installer so let's come to this installer go to the next accept the condition next next oh what is that see i haven't edited this dialog but it came here so let me give you the detail how it came here so we have a dialog node 
in the dialog mode we have a dialog which is a database folder right so if i just ex you know expand it i can see the interface so this is the interface and uh, there must be few other configuration specific to the dialog maybe this one i'm just confused so basically uh, we have this database server uh, one second let me just check whether i am looking on the right dialog or not i think i am looking on the right dialog i think i am oh no 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 see there are sql login dialog right sql login dialog so me wait a minute it's taking time to render oh. so this is the database server this is the dialog which is opening sql login right so let me come to this dialog first which got opened then down so now in this dialog what you can do is that you can database server that you are installing to so you can write the ip even you can browse browse the ip on your network you can check whether you want to log into the server through window authentication or sql server authentication right you can provide the database name here in case you are you don't have any existing database or blank database available and you want to create a database on fly then you can write the name it will create a database on fly so right now I'm just writing dot because dot represents the local database, which is same is is this one, and there is no any P1 database, so I will be giving the name P1. I will be checking whether it is actually creating a new database on fly or not, right? I will be just clicking next. Wait a minute. I will be just opening it up now, right? So let me to click it next. So. I'm just waiting. It's creating the database actually on fly, right? Okay. Star. Oh, great! It's done. So now let me to just check on my database server whether there is a new database or not. So you can see that there is a database P1. And now I have. Let me check whether I have those objects. On this database or not? So as you can see that there is no new database the objects created as far as as of now, right? Now what I will be doing? I will be just going with this mm, through uh, installation wizard and will actually install, right? So see the installation. So it says that your install shield wizard has fully installed desktop uh, app installer, right? Now I will be just re refreshing my dial uh, database and we'll check whether I got those objects or not. Yes, I got those objects. And if I just go to the programmability node, I can verify the processor's names as well. Yes, all the processors are here, right? So now that means I can use this option in the SQL to support the SQL database or objects installation, right? You can go in detail for each and every tab or everything or each and every tab on here, right? And understand how those can be used. So there is one more option like a database import wizard. Uh, okay let me to firstly just uninstall this application so that i can show show you the same thing through different approach right it got uninstalled i will be just uh, deleting this now i am just showing that 
step kind options which is database import wizard here you will be asked this option which database to import or how to log in so next you need to log you need to import my local uh, database server and i will be specifying the database which database to import right i said el core sql o e l core loser database should be imported right now i said my script name would be script father right next that means i will be creating a script with from this database import so i am saying include all tables include all tables right correct next include store props include data types no include store props but only this right next create or leave so i have few configurations available here create or leave missing drop, drop first effect just okay include deceptive no 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 script foreign primary key script triggers nothing else here next script database users and role script logins um, no 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 i'm not going with these things window rights right and everything is no so regenerate script at build so whenever you okay yes finish so x this is actually generating the script or importing the database right so basically database import succeeded i have a script now so basically you can i have already shown you that uh, we have uh, created the connection uh, through manually and we have added uh, one uh, script already and in this approach i have shown you that we can do the same all things through this wizard so we do not have to do it so we do not have to do all the setups uh, manually right so as you can see that for the connection we have three types as we have seen for the existing one so first is general for the general you can configure the catalog name and everything else which would be hard code or from property name i would not recommend to do so requirements you can add versionings of sql server advanced you can timeouts you can give timeouts and other property values for the sql you can see that there is a general tab so associate with your um, feature schema version and commands your, your scripts so basically this is the script and uh, i will just ask you to do one favor one favor like you need to verify whether this script is working condition is in working condition or not so you need to actually copy the whole script and manually run your, on your any new database before actually using in the install sheet it may create problems so what i will be doing is that i will be creating a database p2 or t2 let's say i will be getting a t2 database right t2 and i will be testing this script on this new blank database i have a database t2 control n so new script i will be just pasting it now i will be just running it oh as i said there should be few issues right that's the reason i try to test it now keep it testing till it becomes perfect i think i need to okay i should run it out somewhere else so it says that uh i think there is no schema the specified schema database does not exist okay so there is no option of schema creation right so i need to write one script for the schema creation 
so I can refer that script right which I already have I can simply refer this script done now as I will just again I will be deleting this t2 <laughs> I'm not sure whether it is perfect or not so I will be deleting this t2 again we'll check the same thing on new database I mean my fund is that in one go everything should be perfect so that's the reason I will be creating a new database with name t3 T3 and testing the same thing on this new database. This is blank database, right? And we'll paste the correct SQL script file here, right? And now we'll check whether this there is any object or not. The same way. So you can see that there is no any table this with the table which I am going to import there is no any new processor available just a five command be run now I will be just refreshing my database and checking the tables oh got new tables in the processors I will be checking the processors you got new tables or processors so ultimately say my this script is working fine I will be copying the script coming to this install sheet I will be overriding the general description right so actually this is the reason i prefer to do it manually now come to this runtime run this options i have already told you you can use any options here database import and tax replacement i already told you all these things now i will be just uh i will be just compiling it so i have already said that uh, I need to regenerate the SQL script and build. So, if you like to recreate the SQL script every time you build this project, check the regenerate SQL script and build option below. A backup copy of any existing script will be saved first. Note that we will need to the script every time a build is performed, will show, slow down the build process. Now, attention one thing if I click, if I pro, uh, if I just configure this reason read SQL script and build as a checked, then you know that what will happen. This script will get over it again and again. And I have set up this script with correct version, right? So I will not be gonna go to I will not allow this install sheet to regenerate the script. That's the reason I will be just marking this non checked, right? So that my correct script will not get over it again. I will be just build it. So that's the reason I before building I showed you these options. Now we'll compile this. Oh, I think something is in open state. Yes. So build your and before this, let me just kill this. Let me to show you as of now. So as of now you can see that there is no any P2 database. So I will be getting P2 database on fly. Right, build run. I will see run so for run. I will be actually running it through the install sheet installer. Right, so I need to install the things first. Now it is going to install next. Accept the conditions. Okay. Now here I will providing the server IP. Here I will providing the database name. So I will be saying P. This database is not here. This, this is P2 is not here, right? So I will be writing the name P2. Next, it will create the database right now. Next, oh, so let me just check whether there is any database or not, right? 
f5 on the database node, right? You can see there is a p2 database, and if I just check the content, then I can see that there is no no any as stroke processor, there is no any uh, need trigger, right? So now I will be just committing the installation. So it is installing actually done and now I will be coming to this SQL what's happening with my server okay. and now refreshing the database again and for the P2 I will be checking the tables and props right so processors i guess i got three new clock and uh, two new two new trigger right so that's the way to install the database sql database through installer suite installer you can go or you can just uh, uh, try to explore every tab available on the each script on each script you can even add more than one script and for each script you will be having different different configuration right and you, can you add more than one connection Yo, you can add more than one connection so or else you can configure the scripts as well so let's assume uh, for more than one connection uh, I need to check what is happening so let me to build it first I just want to see like what will happen if I have two connections so maybe it will prompt me two dialogues let's try and uh, open it uh, firstly I need to uninstall because I already uninstall install the one uh, version once version of the same software right so now, now I start installing it So guys, I am doing this because I need to know uh, how many dialogues it will show uh, for each connection. Uh, dot T feed next. And uh, let me check what will happen. Oh, so it is actually asking only one dialog, right? Maybe it will be using same values for both of the connections, right? So both of the connections it will be using same thing. So I think we should not be adding more than one connection. So maybe so you can just it is I'm just leaving it up to you. Like how what will happen if you uh, try to install more than uh, one connection? So even I am trying before you see what happens so basically I have a written nothing in this script so that's why I will not be seeing any impact of these things but let's just try finish e3 right so I have E3 or not? Uh, let me refresh the server. So, yes, P3 I have. And uh, let me check the objects. Yes, I have the objects perfectly. So, I am just leaving it up to you like how we can, what is the use of uh, adding more than one uh, connections, SQL connections via this node, right? So, thanks guys for watching my video. Thanks.